Hey guys, I'm Janet Arkosen, and today we are doing the uh, 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 Crown of Domination. That's the one, right? Yeah, that is. I named uh, I named an episode a couple episodes ago. Um, Crown of Domination in error is actually the Eye of Shirian quest. There's too many quests. Anyway, we're doing this quest because apparently there aren't enough quests. We need one more quest. We're doing a quest. Yep. So, uh, let's go kill things. Uh, should I just hit go? I think so. You know what? The lock group. In you go. Go get them, boys. Go get them. I suppose you can go fight the uh, Lord Change because there's nothing else there, is there? That's, that's, that's it. It's just, it's just him in the sky. There's no ranged units. So I can just sit there and keep plinking away at him, can't I? Uh, let's run into these chosen. Just chosen. Chosen rubbish. <laughs> that tracks, right? Uh, I haven't used a hammer of Harry yet. I need to remember to use that. I need to remember to use that. Alright, let's do that. Get some extra ability going. Alright, let's buff our boy. Buff our boy. Uh, let's burn them. Alright, yeah, we're doing okay over here. We're doing okay. My god, just kill them already. Go on, charge. I know the dragon ogres have got anti-large and such, but, you know. Wow, we really are messing them up. And... Just missed. Loser. Alright, let's throw a fireball at him. That'll be funny. Boop. Oh, he's indeed dead. Silly lord of change. And there he goes. Alright. Job done. Uh, well, this is a mess. Sure, we'll be fine. I'm sure we're fine. Apocalyptic charge, sure, why not? Okay, well that's all good and well. Yeah, every, everything's dead. Victory's in our grasp already. We already defeated the Lord of Change. That was the only objective, so... Is there gonna be more? Or is that it? Is, is that the only objective? I don't know. I don't know. It obviously seems to want us to do a bit more than that, but we really are trouncing them. Oh, that's just spawn of Nurgle. We're just having a, a spawn fight. Just having a <laughs> old-fashioned spawn fight. Oh, I guess we finished them. Oh, aspiring champions would be good here. They all hit so hard. Uh, yeah. That's fine. Alright, our knights are suffering a bit of damage here, but then we have thrown them into... Oh no, there's some trolls that are suffering. Oh, never mind then. Uh, so yeah, these guys are getting getting dealt with, aren't they? Go on, stab them up. Oh, those are ours. Okay, don't stab them up. Stab them up. Him up. There's one guy left. Because everything's just piling into here. Which is pretty funny. Uh, Alright, let's hit them too. Alright, Chaos Knights with Lances. Let's pull them out of the fight. You can go for those Chaos Spawn. You guys can go for these got Marauders? Really? Really? <laughs> marauders? That's, that's who we're fighting? Pathetic. Okay, let's use a 
Yeah, let's get Spirit Leech on those Chaos Spawn. I think that helps. Come on, get out of here. Yeah, okay, it looks like Army Loss is hitting, so it's just the Chaos Spawn left. Well, I say that. These Marauders are still fighting. I don't quite understand why. I mean, good for them, but... You know, get out of here. Okay, gonna run over there. Oh yeah, they're running. They're running. Let's uh, see if we can't hit some of them as they run. <laughs> you can't run from me. <laughs> Losers. Well, I think we uh, proved that we could dominate. And I think that was that was the point, really, wasn't it? Can't really have the crown of domination until you can prove you can dominate. Or, or is it for people who can't dominate? Also, how cool is this terrain? But yeah, is it for people who can't dominate? They get the crown of domination to let them dominate. Just look at this. How cool is this map? And this is, this is a Warhammer 1 map, isn't it? I mean, I assume so. I don't think they would have given it a different map, but this whole area is really cool. I really like it. As you can probably tell. Anyway, we're dominating. Yay. Okay. 15 lost. Got even worse than the last than the last mission. I'm sorry, guys. I really am. I really am letting things slide. Uh, let's go for Sacrifice of Captives. Crown of Domination. All authority plus one for the Lord's Army. Plus three melee attack. Plus three melee defense. And we get the Crown of Domination. Causes terror. Mute psychology. And, uh, yeah, it's just anyone nearby. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Quite handy, that. Oh, and hello, Boris. Hello. Ooh, that's not that tough an army. I mean, yeah, it's got some warbears, though. It's got some warbears, but... Other than that... And we have a path to glory. Oh, good. And there we go. We did the mission. Lovely. Got loads of favour. Absurd amount of favour. What are we going to do with it all? Is there anything? Is everywhere fully upgraded? Yes. Yeah, we fully upgraded everywhere. I'm just going to keep hoarding the money for now. At some point, we're going to get another army. Almost certainly. But, um... You know, until then. Right, let's see. Uh... Getting Spirit Leader leveled up isn't a bad idea. Although, Lord of the End Times. I know I don't really care about leadership or a size. It's kind of irrelevant. But... We did just we did just get crowned, right? Arcan is the Lord of the End Times. Oh, like you mean, crowned by Balakor, creature of abeyance that's neither shape nor shadow. Uh, I think that's great. I think um, that makes sense. We did just get the crown of domination, so it makes sense that we have been crowned. So, what's next? Uh, aura of Chaos. I feel like they already have an aura of chaos about them, you know. All right, Moxia, what have you got for me? Uh, I'm very tempted to put them back on the, the disc. I think they're more versatile on the disc than on the Chaos Wall Shrine. And I guess the Chaos Wall Shrine does have some extra benefits, doesn't it? Uh, isn't Prismatic Plurality one of their things? It decreases cooldown when you cast a spell. That's fun. That might just be a thing they have already. I forget what they have. Giver of Arcane Glory? I can't remember which one of these things is <laughs> just, like, related to the mount and what isn't. But, uh, whatever. Um, extra, I mean, extra weapon strength isn't a terrible idea. Oh, I like Treason of Teach, though. I, I just love that leadership hit. Now, let's see. Um. Should we get Saving Grace to the perfect vigor, which is sort of obscene? Uh, now I'll go hard to hit. I still haven't used his abilities. I keep forgetting to use Harry. Sorry, Harry. Sorry, Harry. Right, where are we? So we have this guy. Can we get any new units yet? No, because we just got them. Okay. Although we could get more stuff from Karneth's sons, but I think I want him to do that in a minute. So, um, yeah, we're going to chase these guys down. We're going to give more territory uh, to... The Skaven. Okay, so he's got Varg camp what over there. Want? Is that... That's his only settlement. That is his only settlement. So actually... Attack target. Why can't I tell him to attack Varg camp? 
Unacceptable. Are you not at war with him? He's not at war with him. No. Defensive alliance, of course. Yeah, we're not military allies. Ah, well. Never mind. Let's just move on. Daniel's called Akarak today. Uh, no. No non-aggression pact. Only aggression pact. So, this is interesting. Not all that. This. Oracles of Tsinch just declared war on Bobbis. Uh, so that's good news. They have another enemy that's over here somewhere. Um, so yeah, they're gonna have a little more pressure to deal with. God, we have so much to deal with over here. Like, it's gonna take ages to go around here. And you know, I did want to get into the, sort of, into the old world at some point, rather than just hang around Norskia. Although I guess Norskia is part of the old, anyway, whatever. I, I want to get to the Empire. But that's fine. Uh, oh, hang on. Yeah, this is a good one. I'm keeping this one. Yum, yum, yum. And it'll have good growth, too, thanks to the port. That's cool. Uh, the Golden Griffin of Dirgy. What's there between the Griffin and the Griffon? That's what I want to know. And the Soul of Damnation, New Hell Cannon, the Marquis of Masochism. I have such such sides to show you. Do you know? Uncle for Uncle. The silliest name, I love it. Um, those who have heard of Uncle for Uncle know to steer well clear of his gaseous girth, lest a torrent of putrid filth descend upon them from God knows where. <laughs> Even by bloodthirster standards, the bloody fist stands apart. Or it grows stronger as the as it pounds monstrous enemies to a, gl a gory blot on the landscape. And Oleg, our boy Oleg, he can become a wise mentor for all of our boys. Shall I do that? It's probably a good shout, right? Probably a good shout. More powerful he gets, the more you know, the more the gods share their gifts, empower people under our banner. Makes sense, right? And uh, Teacher's Firestorm is cool. That's the only reasoning for that one. But uh, yeah, some cool stuff. Some cool stuff. I like it. Yeah, I will take it. Uh, do we have... Where are we? Where are we? <laughs> I'm lost. It's so weird going across like a huge amount of territory. Um, when you just have like a smattering of stuff. You know, there, it's a bit weird. Can I upgrade you straight away? No, I can't. Gotta be ranked three. Oh, one thing I can do, though. Uh, I can make these guys throwing axes, which I think I will. Because I want to make sure that I always have something good for, like, armor piercing. Uh, harassment. I mean, we do have hell cannons and severed claw and trolls. I don't think we needed that. Never mind. I've done it anyway. Uh, so this guy, we're going to carry on chasing. Uh, cracker... Ornsmotek, we are going to upgrade, and I guess I could head over here, like, oh, ooh, that would be bad, uh, I may have to deal with these guys though, it really depends on where these guys are headed, because I'm not sure, uh, Lamondal is headed for these guys, which is pretty hilarious, and they are the correct faction, these are their lands, uh, one thing I do need to do though, uh, this guy, I need to clear his target. I don't need him protecting Grayling Moot. Village is coming over here for some reason. What? What's your beef? No idea. Okay. Uh, anything else? Is there anything else that we need to do? I feel like we just have loads of money and nothing to spend it on. Oh, actually, here we go. We can upgrade that, that's good news. And upgrade Hellspire Camp as well, good. Okay, that's really good news. Alright. This guy can't really do anything. So he's had to sit tight. Just, it's not a great army, is it? That looks like it's more considerable. More armoured stuff, more guns. But this isn't the best army. The Zargard and the Bears, yes. But like, it's mostly Kislevite Warriors and Cossars. So I mean, we get in here with a lot of... Yeah, stuff like the, the Chaos Warriors uh, of Corn with dual weapons. They will kill those guys all day long. 
Like, they won't even pause. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It, it... I think it'd be pretty good. The bears do concern me a little. The bears do concern me a little bit. But I find when I've used the bears, they're not as rugged as you just assume from massive bears. I find they do get dragged down um, relatively easily. Like, they're not great against um, superior numbers, I find. Um, no, I'm going to save this allegiance. I, I want I want Vavita to Salty to get all the corn loving. Speaking of corn loving, uh, no, no alliances with you, okay? I'm going to fight you. It's going to be great. I'm going to embarrass you in front of in front of your dad, who's going to knack your wings even more probably. Okay, it's not enough to create something beautiful to truly leave our mark. We must build to last through the ages. That's exactly what <laughs> what the bringer of the end times believes. It's like we gotta really build stuff to last. You're destroying the world. Oh yes. Yes. That's right. Um it it's got to build you've gotta build stuff to last the end of the world, okay? He still wants to have stuff when the world's destroyed. So, once one bears the mark of Tinch. Their fate is forever changed. That'll give us a uh, mark of Tinch. Uh, we can get, you know, Tinch upgrades. Barriers for aspiring champions. That's really nice. And also make it easier to spot the aspiring champions. Because we'll be able to see the barrier on their um, on their flag. Which is really nice. I appreciate that. Because aspiring champions are really hard to see amongst units of um, marauders. Luckily, we have nothing but marauders of great weapons. Though it's not really a problem. But usually... When you go amongst marauders or just standard chaos warriors or something, it's really hard to see. So, is this guy going to keep running? I guess so. Um. All right, you. Um. Not a shared enemy. How are you not a shared enemy? What? To be honest, I'd rather be raiding, but you have my. He's a vassal. Of ours, so his enemies are my enemies. How is he not at war with? What? How has that happened? Hang on. Static Dark legions. Prince. They're only at war with me. Why aren't my vassals at war with him? Did I say don't come and fight him, vassals, or did he do some slanesh nonsense? Is that what happened? Anyway, uh, Wax and Wayne, leadership's down. That's fine. As the Great Vortex uh, facilitates on its axis, the winds of magic fluctuate distressingly, eliciting wild-eyed portents of doom from hedge wizards throughout your empire. The troops are cowed by these omens, and leadership has decreased faction-wide. Yeah, because... When you get the winds of magic being violent, that really upsets all of our chaos wizards. Yeah, famously. Come on. Come on, game. Keep up. Uh, that's good, that's good, that's good. We have a lot of money, I like it. No we don't, no we don't, we have no money. <laughs> we've spent all of it very fast. Wow, okay, we don't need more growth. I want to get recruitment buildings. Um, do we want like giants and shaggots and things? Do we want to get a bunch of knights maybe? Knights do feel very on brand. Or we can go with chaos warriors. You can never get to a point where you can just nab a chosen, which um, is a bit of a pity. But this might be worthwhile, getting the Fighters Lodge, so we can get some more Chaos Warriors at our beck and call. You know? Let's get more of these chumps. It's better than nothing. Alright, he's headed down here. Uh, why don't you see a bodice? Oh, there's a bodice. I found a bodice. And now, technology. Blood for the Blood God. That sounds nice. Um... Charioteers. I would like to get some chariots at some point. Yeah, okay, let's do that. So, Mr. Soul Thief, where do I want you? I think I do just want to keep chasing these jerks down. Also, Bard Camp is his only camp, isn't it? Yes. Sorry if I got over this before, at the start of this episode. Uh, after, like, ten minutes of episode, uh, I had to run off and go do something. I know, terrible timing. You wouldn't have noticed though, because I'm uh, magic. 
I, I just used the end of the, the end of a turn to disguise me swanning off. But anyway, um, oh, hang on, where did you come from? No way. Go kill him. Cool. And and you, go chase that boat. All right, go play, play go play chasey boat. It's a great game. There's a lot of fun stuff that I can get potentially. Do I want? I mean, I got one of each knight, right, in, in Oleg's army. Do I also want him to get one of each greater demon at some point? Because going with all four greater demon regiments around would be pretty funny. But uh, might give that a miss. Also, hang on. Are we not getting any hell cannons yet? No, we're not. When do we get hell cannons? One more turn. One more turn and we get hell cannons. Nice. Well, we already got two, so yeah, fair enough. Alright, moving on. Again, like, there's not a lot to do each turn. Kairos wants military access, I say no. Because again, I'm going to have to beat him up as well. Okay, so uh, one thing as well, which um, I'm sure some of you guys are assuming is going to happen. Uh, I, I've forgotten whether I uh, enabled diplomacy for the end game nonsense. Um, so I actually have no idea whether this Skaven faction is going to like spawn a billion like monsters, you know, billion stacks, monstrous stacks around Black Gulch and destroy everything and also me, or if I'm going to remain friends with them. I have no idea. Um, but that's... Honestly? Don't spoil it for me or anyone else. I just want you guys to know that I have that in mind. You know, if you want to look it up yourself, just for your own knowledge, that's fine. But uh, don't, don't, don't tell me. I just, I just want people to know I do have that in mind, and I want the surprise because the surprise is funny. The surprise is funny. Okay, the Brennans have been destroyed. Sucks to be them, doesn't it? Sure does. Where would I get the Brennans if I was to get any Brennans? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where. No, I don't know where I would get them. I can't see their sort of um, main base. Must be around here somewhere, I guess. Still need to chase this guy down. Uh, this I don't need anything here. Although, what does this do anyway? It gives faction-wide bonuses. That's awesome. Okay, I, I should be keeping ones that have resources. Because they give faction-wide bonuses. Should have kept that. That would have probably been great. Oh, no, there's, yeah, there's loads of resources around here. I should definitely have been keeping these. Alright, well, I'm keeping this one. This is mine now. Cool. Uh, okay, that is a soul thief. I don't know, Hearts of Iron is pretty good. Veritas Humongous? I do like that we have two um, Baratuses. One is a Soul Thief, one's just really big. <laughs> it's just, you know, it's, it's cute. Uh, barrier hit points up. Barrier replenishment up. For the whole army, not that useful. Or Fireballs. Uh, fireballs does sound quite good. Especially when he's on the the, the disc. I was moving here to look at his, his mount, if you guys are wondering what I was doing there. But obviously I could have seen it up there. I just, yeah, didn't didn't think to look up there for some reason. Very strange. I'm a peculiar lad. Um, ooh, I don't know. I think shooting fireballs is fun. I really enjoy that with my other spellcaster. Just occasionally shooting a fireball when I'm chasing people down. I think it's cute. Um, so let's see. Where is he? Alright. Let's grab this too. Let's do that. It is just a jetty, so I, I'm going to give that to my vassals. Seasoned campaigner. Perfect vigor. Extra movement range. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Uh, let's start heading for the Bjornlings Gathering. A lot of Bjornlings. A lot of Bjornling territory. Which, um... 
Yeah, but we have to give to any Bjornlings. I don't see the Bjornlings house. So yeah, the just uh, in case. Again, I think I did mention this in the bit that I cut off because I had to run off. Um, this little icon is is what you're looking for, right? When it comes to vassalizing um, nations, it's the it's the extra spiky bit, which uh, I I couldn't see when I was looking at these before, because this was owned by a different faction. So I was looking at the ones owned by this faction, and like nothing seemed different. But yeah, anyway, whatever. That's why we got the second chance to vassalize there, which is just stupid, frankly. Like, it's really dumb <laughs> that I can vassalize if I take over a place that they don't even own. That's really weird to me. Um, I'm not really besting them, but I guess I'm technically besting someone who has bested them. It's someone who's already taken their seat of power, I guess. I don't know. It's all a bit weird. Um, it's just a lot of weird icons that you have to pay attention to with Chaos. Almost too many, frankly. Um, too many weird icons. Because, you know, it's not just the little things to go, oh, which faction do I give that to? It's also, which faction do I give that to and can I take it over completely? And also, is it somewhere that I can build a dark fortress in or not? And Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's just busy. It's a very busy UI when you're playing Chaos. Which is fine, because, you know... Chaotic. Isn't it? So it fits. It all fits. Okay. God, is that the turn again already? I feel like we're just blazing through turns. Uh, we are going to have the end game scenarios. Like, proc. Pretty soon, aren't we? Do not order me. But go, go fight him. I already told him to. Just they're not doing it. Alright. Got commandment over here as well, apparently. Uh, let's slow down enemy enemies. Not... Allied enemies, enemy enemies. So Loki is just sat right here now. Um, do I run at him like a loon? I mean, I want to take that back when he inevitably destroys it. So I think I do need to run back in England. It's frustrating that uh, he sort of slipped, slipped to shackles there. We'll see if he fancies a fight. I mean, he does have this guy nearby, so he will have a bunch of, like, bombardment abilities and things. Which will be fun. Yeah, with my incredibly slow-moving army. That'll be that'll be an exciting one. And... Okay, so we, we can build more here. Just can't afford it. I didn't realise I was that broke again. Uh, okay, so that is a soul thief. Oh, you can fight this guy. Okay, Z now it's a Zazel in charge again. He fancies a piece. Uh, they're all rank four. Ah, oh, why don't you rank five? Like a cool guy. And I can't make them uh, Chaos Knights yet. Yeah, I'd love to upgrade them. Oh, they don't fancy it. Yeah, fair enough. That is fair enough. Hello. Yeah, not even worth fighting. Alright, bye. Their little little orange feet. Really cute. Uh, more souls, please. Blood for the blood god. Exalted of course. Alright, good lad. Rampage of standard, perfect. And Chaos Chariot for Veritas Humongous. And Veritas Soul Thief just got the soul harvest boon. Is that for defeating? And the commence. A it doesn't it doesn't say how you unlocked them. I think that's a pity. It really should say how I unlocked them. But um we're getting more souls. So that's cool. And uh, we have a revel in slaughter, which gives extra melee attack for nearby people when you're melee. I love that. That's really good. Yes, yes. Ah, uh, skull crusher. Ain't everyone not a skull crusher, right? Shall we? Ooh, I don't know. Let's get skull crusher. Let's start getting to his unique stuff. Heroic Killing Blow, pretty good. Um, and Unflinching Soldiers. Physical resistance for all of our boys. That's pretty good. That's pretty powerful. Obviously, we're fighting a lot of demons and things that have magic damage, but not everything does. Not everything does. Demons will do, but not everything does. So, that physical resistance will work for a lot of enemies. Uh, Wound Maker. 
Prayers are answered. And Jaeger Foseeker sounds good. Oh, he's got another level up. So Woundmaker. And Uzu can get more golden hounds. I love my hounds golden. Lord of and my horse's feet orange. Um Alright, looks like he's coming for him. Yeah, Boris doesn't look like he's in a great spot anymore. Now, oh my god, all slaves. That's awful. But yeah, he's, he's a bit split now, isn't he? He seems a bit split. So that's nice. And yeah, you've moved. I mean, Varus Soul Thief has done his thing. Does this guy want to move out soon? I really don't know. I don't feel like this is going to be very good against Boris. Uh, let's upgrade this. And, yeah, so Chaos Warriors are in this thing now, but very low chance of them um, filling up that. So, hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. Building upgrade available over here, apparently. Uh, only for Marauders, though. I guess Chariots, actually. I mean, that's not bad. We fill that up. Maybe get access to some Chariots. But are we ever going to be doing any recruitment in this area? Probably not, right? So probably what we want to do over here is get, like, this. So we get income, more income from our vassals. Or we could get um, this one. So we just get more income from our own buildings. I don't know. One or the other. So no need for upgrades. Let's move on. But the Dread have attacked our settlement, which is very cheeky. Greetings. Your abasement pleases me. Hello, Leif. Military access. No, I want to take you over. Alright, Iron Belt Den. Our oh, by a tribe is finally building an outpost. That's good. Uh, and Charioteer, so we can get chariot upgrades. Ooh, maybe we can get rid of that guy as well. Uh, village is chasing him around. But yeah, engineers have perfected a wicked machine of war, drawn by fearsome steeds into the very heart of battle. Uh, engineers, make that. I feel like chariots have been around for a long time. But I guess it hasn't been perfected, I don't know. One of the legendary harems of Slanesh has been discovered. Your army may have some time. Um... Okay. Slanesh authority goes up and we get extra casualty replenish uh, replenishment rate. Interesting. Rawr. Decisive victory, medium casualties. Huh. Um, I mean, I guess I could fight him again. You know, I could. Me the idea of medium casualties in this army at all is just insane. You know, it's a very unlikely thing to happen. So I feel like I need to fight it. So yeah, we're gonna fight it. Okay. Boop. Okay, this is all in one big group. Is that really how I want to play this? It's actually got quite a lot in the air as well. So we may need to get our exalted champion out of the sky. I don't think the sky is a good spot for him today. Not a great spot for him. Alright. That's everything we've got some mass. Oh, and you, I suppose. Harold can run out the front. Chose. Oh, for God's sake. Let's, let's turn off the groups. Alright, so you're over there. Okay, I suppose with halberds. Sit closer in. We'll put our chosen in the middle. And there we go. And then we'll put aspiring champions in the middle with Harry. Uh, you can jump on to the floor. And there we go. Why isn't it? Oh, it's because it, it thought I was clicking on that. That's very weird, but sure. Um. Alright, let's go kill that squadron of chariot. Go on, Archeon. Go get him, boy. Oh, well, maybe I should go over here instead, so I have, um, you know, I can tempt Loki here to come fight me. So he's going to have a bit of trouble, isn't he? 
Let's make sure we damage him more. Let's hit this jerk. Oh, let's go attack these shades. Uh, let's damage him even more. Excellent. Yeah, he's, he's coming for me. He's already taken a lot of damage. Alright, brilliant. And mess him up, please. Thank you. Alright, now we'll start charging in. Oh no, come back here. I wasn't done with you yet. Rude. Come on. Oh, oh my god, lands. Lands so I can attack you. Thank you. Alright, let's hit him again. Alright, another fireball. And, oh, we got some friends. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> that was cute. Oh, we got some friends. Alright. Alright, come on, Archeon. Mess him up. And them too. Oh, you got him? Oh, yeah, basically. Yeah, there he goes. And they do have a man to call on the way back, but... I mean... Be sensible, you know? <laughs> I'll see you give it to Alright, head over there. Apocalyptic charge. Good lads. Uh, random spirit leech, because I know it'll... It'll stick. I mean, we have taken some damage on our Chaos Knights. But I don't know how many models we've lost, you know? Probably not many. Probably not many. Yeah, there we go. Ow. Rude. Decisive victory. Alright, so we lost 49. Well, I don't know how many were these guys, though. I don't feel like we lost that many of our main army. One, two, three, four. Ooh, ooh, another six there. Uh, maybe 15? Yeah, we didn't lose many. Anyway, uh, souls and favor, please. Yeah, I'll chase him down again. Uh, he's in dread expansion stance, so he will be able to run away from me. Alright, so let's just boot them away. And let's go get them! Uh, war coordination target lost. Yeah, I suppose it would have. I suppose it would. Uh, can I...? No targets. I can't tell him to occupy anyone. That's weird. Uh, right. I want to... Request an army. Oh, I can only take that one. I can't take his main army. Oh, that's rubbish. I was hoping I could take this army. Oh, I can't keep chasing. Wow, okay. There's no stopping Oleg. That's unusual. Okay, cool. Well done, mate. Well done. That's bonkers. Big fan. Alright, more students. We have a lot of students I need to dish out to everyone. Uh, also... Get flaming sword of ruin. Let's get evasion for this lad. Uh, scarred veteran a couple times. Infernal champion and earthing. I suppose might as well. Uh, one thing I do want to do. I I want to go back to the disc. I think the disc is cooler. It's just more fun. All right, foe seeker, wound maker. All right, there we go. Some treasure I could be grabbing around here, too. Uh, I won't, though. I won't. Okay, good. I like this new sailing Oleg that we have going on. It's, uh, yeah, it's good. It's good. Let's get this one, because that'll put up uh, favor from local buildings. Um, wow, we've got a lot of stuff to upgrade here. Again, favor from local buildings. And that's all of our money going to get. Well, favor. 
do? I want Eckold Troll Tooth to start moving out. God, we need more Chaos Warriors. That's what we need. We need Chaos Warriors. I'm not sure what to do with this guy either. Do you want to maybe fight him now? <laughs> Is that something I want to do? Fight, uh, fight the Demon Prince? Also, this is a pain. Because if I take this over, because it's... Because it's um, the Ecstatic Legion's last settlement, I will end up vassalizing them. But then I won't be able to vassalize the Varg. Because this is the Varg vassalization building. This is where the system gets a bit weird, you know? Unless I can vassalize both. Or I can vassalize the Ecstatic Legion and then just threaten the Varg. That works. Probably works a bit too well, in fact. Um, if I go into a counter dance, can I get some new friends? I can get new friends. Brilliant. Um, I do like Forsaken. I do enjoy them. But I think I'm going to get rid of them just so I can focus on warriors. Although this was supposed to be a lot of mutated stuff in here as well, wasn't it? I think this is going to be a very um, standard very formal army, actually. Uh, oh, also, these are all rank 5 now. Hells yeah. Okay, let's go um, Chaos Warriors. Chaos Warriors. I can't afford it. Alright, I'll do it next turn. There's actually no reason to do it now. And technology. Demonic Pact. Might as well, right? Gives me authority for everyone, so I'll put down um, upkeep for everything everywhere, so that sounds good, doesn't it? Lowering up keep for everyone everywhere? I think so. Um, and now, yeah, I guess that's it for the turn again. We are just blitzing through these turns because we just sort of show up, kill everything, and, um, call it a day. Alright, moving on. Hackerite must be friends, I say no. Although I guess I could. I guess I could. You know, I do keep saying I want to get to the Empire and actually do the campaign. But, um, I also want to fight everybody. Is it? Yeah, maybe I should just be friends with him. I might have to rethink that. If he asks me again, I'll be friends with him. Constructor. There is something exhilarating about raising something up from once where there was nothing. Yep. And uh, Grailing Moot has positive growth. Good. Every day more of your followers flock to the city in fear that some terrible peril or enemy horde will murder them without the protection of its walls. Well, yeah, they either have to join me or I will murder them, you see. That's how that works. Uh, the Sal just emerged over here, interestingly. I live for oh. Only Here's B-dubs. All right, I guess he's who we're fighting. Um, Aura of Chaos. Do I need that? If he's come on a disc, probably. But he's not on a disc yet. It's a plague of rust. Let the slaughter commence. All right. Let's head up here. So this guy is suffering attrition, which is good. Now, God, why does the frame rate keep messing up? You notice the frame rate sort of dipped? I was over here. I don't know what's going on. All right, and now... Do I want all dual weapons? Do I just want them to all be dual weapons? That does sound pretty cool, right? I like it. I like it. It's pretty cool. Or is it a little bit horny? Pursuit of slaughter. Please subscribe. So, um, yeah, uh, this is looking good. All right, we've got some friends here. You know, plenty of friends. Oh my god, this is so many scary slaves. Oh, look at that! Look, we've got some friends! Yay! That's cute. Um, all right, so we're going to deal with them pretty soon. Um, it'd be very funny if uh, he's destroyed by our allies who are also stabbing us in the back, suddenly realizing they had a bunch of armies here and just going, hello, attacking everyone. Aha! They're out on parchment for some reason. I, I, I don't know why. I don't know why. Uh, also, what is this quest? Oh, I need to go get the blue scribes, don't I? Move any character here. Uh, well, we spent a lot of money. 
Okay, where am I spending money? Just that. Just, just that. Oh, look at, look at him move. Look at him moving over here with his uh, dark fury. Oh, yeah, look at that. So investigations uh, has proven fruitful indeed. So they seek a place to collect their parchments, do they? A great library must be built. I need a shaman's temple. I've already got one. I've already got one. Blue scribes may have just uh, slipped your grasp, but a show of force is not the only way to entice them to your side. They have been given an impossible task in recording every fragment of magic they can find, but the possibilities have multiplied in mortal hands. Perhaps the shamans of chaos could offer these wandering wizards with assistance and provide them a place in the mortal realm capable of housing their surplus spells. And here we go. Let's unlock some heroes, shall we? And we get uh, 15 turns of stuff. Master of the Elemental Winds, Iridescent Horrors, Cultists, and Lords of Change. I mean, we don't have any of that. That's fine. Um, Siege Lords and Heroes gain more experience. Or, cooldown for Lord's Ancient Metal Spells. An extra Winds of Magic reserve for all turns. I like that. I like that a lot. Either way, we're going to unlock the hero, the Blue Scribes. I know, the hero is two people, but they're one hero. It's... Don't worry about it. Uh, the Blue Scribes marvel at the vast library before them, eager to fill it to the brim with all manner of destructive magic and abilities. Their bickering, however, is endlessly tiresome. While one yearns to join us in our path to ruin, destroying the mortal world, the other longs for the towering halls of your library, eager to continue transcribing their mess of jumbled scrolls in Teach's honour. Uh, though the constant argument has been the cause of several headaches, they do raise an interesting proposition. You could lead these harbingers of chaos into battle, uh, where their records will be written in the blood of your foes. Yet perhaps their work is better suited to your libraries, where this collect uh, collection of occult power is sure to grow under their watch. Uh, I'll offer the library. And... Uh, I assume they've been recruited, but I don't know where. The Blue Scribes have begun creating a repository of madness within the library, expanding their occult collection day by day. The Architect of Fate is sure to delight in this uh, bounteous trove of magic, for the agents have changed and now free to make use of it, reveling in its power. With the Blue Scribes at your side, the arcane spirit of Zinch is always at hand. With every parchment filled, new magic lie at your disposal, certain to make the enemies of change. Quake in fear. Oh, well, where are they? They're all the way over here, at our capital. Well, I guess you can join Echo Trolltooth, because he was supposed to be a bit zinchy, right? You know? Well, possibly a bit zinchy. I can't really remember what the story was with this guy. Didn't he have something that was a bit... No, he had Infernal Dominance. I don't know. I don't think I could quite work out what I wanted to do with him. But I guess we're going to make him a bit zinchy. And, uh, we need to give some people some students. Actually, I just realised. You don't have a student? Here, have a student. Brilliant. And yeah, we got magic items. I mean, that was boring. Brass cleaver? Yeah, there you go. That's better. Uh, beguiling gem? Is that an enchanted item? Yes, it is. There you go. What does this do again? Lowers enemy speed. Okay, perfect. And I've uh, got a lot of stuff here that is okay, but like, not great. Scroll of Aramar is fun, but rather than enemies running away, how about we just kill them all? Uh, sundering attacks and extra weapon strength is kind of cool. Probably not for a um, spellcaster, though. But for someone like this guy with his 97, um, it would be pretty good. But he's also got his own his own um, weapon. I didn't realize that was Harry the Hammer when I clicked on his portrait. Yeah, this guy. Executioner's Axe for him, I think, will work out well. Um, yeah. And still massive, like, shortage of armor. Interestingly. And Talos. We just have many items, really. Um, that's okay. Alright. So, we've got some toys. Executioner's Axe. And, uh, yeah, we've got the Blue Scribes. Blue Scribes are really fun. I absolutely adore playing with them. They're really silly. They are really fun. So what you do is you level up um, the different um, laws of magic. Right, skill points unlocks that entire law of magic. 
but they get spells at random. Every time you cast a spell, the, your selection of spells is randomized, so you never know quite what they're going to have at any one time. Um, and yeah, you, they, you might get a choice of two spells that you really want to cast. You cast, you have to pick one, and then you'll get, you know, others. I mean, it's always a full complement of spells, but like, you know, there's always going to be a load of spells you don't really care about. Sometimes it's a difficult choice. Um, and yeah, the moment you cast a spell, they all shuffle. It's fun. I really enjoy it. Um, so, okay, I think we can afford to start pushing in. You know? Got a lot of hounds. Like, a absurd number of hounds, frankly. But let's start moving in. I wonder, actually... Could have probably got Regiments Renown. Could have got some uh, more Zinchi things, maybe. Some blue horrors and stuff. That would have been good. But we didn't. And uh, I just realised we're way over time. <laughs> because I already recorded some of this episode. I was looking at the recording, thinking, oh yeah, we're at, we're at 45 minutes. We're at the end of the episode. Forgetting that I'd already recorded 10 minutes at the start. So um, that's pretty funny. So guys, we're going to end it here. Um, but hey, we've made progress. We've done some fun things. We've got... Three armies on the march now. We've got the Blue Scribes in tow. We've done all of Oleg's quest battles. You know, we're making good progress. It really is just um, slaughter everything, make everyone bow to our will. It's, it's pretty great. I think it'll only be a couple more turns um, before the, like, end game crises thingies all happen. And I really can't wait to see what that does because I think things are going to get a bit kooky. should be funny. Anyway, guys, if you're enjoying this, comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.